Okay. Perhaps, what do you think? Two months? Mm. Two, two months. months. Okay, I'm being told two, two to three months, so okay. I'll do that next time before I come. But it's a lovely, lovely view. I will do this again. Um, hopefully not too long from now. All right, thank you. Hopefully not too long from now. So, um, could you tell me something? I know this is your first time in Ghana, right? How do you see this experience for you coming to uh, Lipe, Lipe to Dome, the cave inside? It's good. It's peaceful up here. Okay. There's no cars. There's no people. And you can see very far. You can see all the mountains from here. It's definitely something that people should go to because the experience is nothing like anything I've experienced before. Okay. And I definitely do it again as well. All right. So, so as we are here, what 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 do you expect in to to see here, or to see inside the the main cave? I'm not exactly sure. I've only I know what I've been told. Okay. So I assume it'll be um, you'll see like the remains of what was built and how people lived many years ago. So are you not expecting anything different that they, they have told you about the cave before? I don't know. I'm not sure because I, I only know what I've been told. Okay. So I expect something, but something else. Okay. Maybe will happen. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's Kojo, uh -huh, my little brother. So we are, we are now ready to go inside the cave. When we get there, I will let you know what is inside. This is your man, JM. The Vota JM1. Yes. ancestral caves that uh, you are coming to see and this cave is one of the wonderful caves so far that you are going to see and very very interesting okay yeah this cave this is a history about the cave our forefathers the first of all migrated from a tan nebron and half region called atibubu that is where they migrated from that is where they migrated from. Due to wars and conflict at those days, they need peace and harmony. So they moved from Atebubu there and they started their migration till they came to find a place here called Hohwe. Yeah. So as they came to Hohwe, they were there. Already Hohwe people are they were already there before my people came. So my people, at, they are trying, they thought that the river belongs to them. So my people shouldn't fetch from the source. So they stay at the other banks of the river. So the river then share a boundary between my people and the hallways. So one day, one of our pregnant women wanted to go and fetch water and she was shot with arrow dead by the Huawei people. By those days, when you kill anybody in any other ethnic groups, you have to use one of your people in the replacement of the person that you killed. So we asked them to do so. And they've decided not to do so. So as they've decided not to do so, we are trying to fight against them. By we trying to fight against them, we don't have weapons to fight against them. So we are trying to create our own weapons that we can use to fight against them. By creating our own weapon, we get stones that we can shove the stone into a pointed edge that we can use as our weapons against them. That is where our spurs, the whole way, came to see that, hey, these people are sharpening stone against us. That is where they gave us the name Likbiao. 
So Likpe means sharpening of stone. Okay. So that the name Likpe, as you are hearing the Likpe now, this name was given to us by the Ewes. We are Guans. We are not the Ewes. We are Guans. Okay. That is why we normally speak a language called Sekpele. That is Sekpele that we speak here. So here we don't speak Ewe. Okay. So then, since my people, they need peace and harmony, they couldn't fight them again. They, they lived there and they started their migration. Mountains to mountains and they came to find this cave naturally done. So this cave that they came to find naturally done is a natural cave. It is not meant by them. So as they see the caves and they see the caves and they see the surrounding and sometimes they see the land for cultivation and the cave which is the shelter they've decided that they want to share this cave into different distincts as a community for them so they've decided to stay there so then, then they've decided that let the first cave which is cave one be their conference cave that is where the chief and the elders will sat and think of what to do the next day or put up a decision among themselves. That is cave one. From there, you go to cave two. Okay. Cave two, that is where, by that time they were being, they are running away from enemies. So they need a place which is serve as a hideout cave for them. That is where they will hide. And if you climb to the top, you see a window naturally open. And that is where they got source of ventilation and light rays from into the caves. After that, you go to cave three. In every community, everybody is having a sleeping place. So they get a place there, which is called the underground cave. That is where you use ladder and go inside the cave. Okay. And that cave is the underground cave. That cave is served as a sleeping cave for them. And when you are lucky, you may meet these small, small church bats in the cave. But, but they are not harmful. They will not touch you people. Okay. Mm. So that is the sleeping cave for them, which is cave three. Okay. Then from there, we will go to cave four. Cave four, that is in every community, we have a chief. So they got a place there to serve as a chief palace, where the chief and the elders will sat and think of what they'll do the next day or put up a decision among themselves. That is K4. From there, we'll go to, uh, in, in K3, K4, which is the chief palace, at those days they don't have anything like furniture. So they use stones as their seat then. So you see where the chief will sit and the liquids will sit and the elders will sit around. That is K4. K5. Okay. In every community, we have bad people. Even among the disciples, Judah Iscarus is there. Okay. So we have bad people. So we get a cave there which is served as a punishment cave. When you have done something wrong, they will put you there for the punishment. That okay. is cave five. And the last cave, which is cave six, that is where you walk through a long hall. Through a, a long hall and you climb. You walk through a long hall and you get a cave there which is called spine window. That is where they will stand. The guards will stand and spy whether the enemies are coming so that they will take fast revenge or vengeance against the enemy. So that cave alone is a spied out cave. So when you are standing there, you may be seeing the surrounding. <laughs> and even the road leading to the cave, you see it. And that cave is called Spine Window. Then from there, you move straight to the picnic ground where you first meet. Yeah. So the first place that you go under the till there is our picnic ground. That we normally celebrate picnic every Easter Monday. And we have about 10 villages of Likwe. So that place was the first settlement before we moved downwards here. So as we moved downwards here, my village here was the first village that all of them settled before we start spreading, 
spread and we now have 10 villages of Lekpe Aran. So on that very day, we've been celebrating our festival, which is called Lekoi Festival, that, which means unity. So the whole Lekpe and everybody, you all go there on Easter Monday and celebrate. And remember our forefathers and remember how we've been there before. So we've never ignored that place. So we've been going there every Easter Monday to remember our forefathers at the place. So that is all. All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. But uh, I would like to ask one of two questions. Yeah. Uh, what we hear about the cave is that our ancestors go there to hide, to fight their enemy. Uh -huh. How true is that story? That because of the wind there to hide so that they can fight their enemy? Uh, truly, the fact is that they've not made their intention to fight. But at the olden days, all ethnic groups is war, war everywhere. Because if somebody wants to survive with his, this thing, so you see that war, 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 and then. So at those olden days, the, their motive is that they want to prepare the place down in case of any attack because they have been attacked first at Hohe before they move there. So it could be that any attack can come there again. So as they go there, their motive is that they want to, uh, I mean, strategize the place so that if any attack may come, they can face the attack. So they did not go there purposely for because my people do always deal with peace and harmony. That is why they killed their pregnant woman, but they couldn't fight them again and they move. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so we can say they, they just went there to settle to themselves, settle this. but not to hide, to, to fight, fight their enemies. enemies. Okay, okay, I think I, I get the clear point there. Yeah. So, so I, I, I'm asked how many years it took our ancestors to live there before they moved to the down. Village. They lived there for about 5,000 years ago. Where they lived there, before they, they move, about 5,000 years ago, before moving down was here. Okay, this when thing. you say this thing like that, mm. that 5,000 years, some people doubt, how do we know it's 5,000 years that they lived there? So how because, can we tell our people out there, truly mm. it's 5,000 years that they because have lived there? Because that cave is a natural cave there. So the caves has been there. And so as they came there, they, they always deal with what? This hunting and gathering. But that's a hunting and gathering of animals. And the only thing, fruit and all these things. So by that time, they were being led by one of our leader, which is called Ote Kajangala, who led them there. Yeah. So if you go, the place is so naturally, if you go there, you see it so naturally. So the place has been there before they met the place. They, 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 went, they went and see the place. So they came, everything has been like that. Okay, so, so no changes. Okay, so can we say that when we went there, mm -hmm. uh, we can see that, oh, truly how this place look, mm. it might take that 5,000 years we are talking about. It, it, it. You surely see it. All right, yeah. so if any of you have questions. Mm. So it's the Hohoe so called you Likwe. Likwe. So, so what do you call yourselves then? We we are Bakbele. 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 Okay. Yeah. Bakbele. So that did is your why we sisters ever fight? Although they, they didn't not go there to to fight. fight. Yeah. They were so prepared in case anyone came. Anyone came. So did they ever encounter any fight? No. Since then so they could just stories yes. being told. Yeah. First, I'm glad I came. It was scary, <laughs> adventurous, uh -huh. and mm, it was fun at the same time. So okay. it, it's a combination of a lot of emotions. Okay. 
times where you feel like, oh my God, can I make this? Okay. But then there's no way to go back the way you came. So you have to keep going, right? Uh, okay. So uh, part of that tells me that in life, you really have to keep going no matter how difficult things are. Okay. Because a lot of times you feel like going back, but going back is not the best thing for you. Okay. Um, I would say if anyone is planning on coming to see the cave, come in wearing proper shoes, which will be hiking shoes. Yes. Something that can hold you to the ground really, okay. really well. Other than that, everybody come to Huawei, come and visit the ancient, ancient caves, six of them. It takes a lot of courage, but fun to do. Thank you, Sister Abna. Uh, 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 come, come, Kojo, come, come and share some small experience with her. You see, this is the first time for Kojo coming to Ghana and straightly to uh, Lipe, uh, the cave inside. I can see how Kojo is struggling to climb in and even for, for us coming back, it is dangerous than going. So Kojo, tell us, mm -hmm. I, I was asking before we enter, I asked you what, what, uh, are you expecting to see more than what you, you hear? Uh, when you went there, tell us, what, what experience do you want to share with the young ones outside there, especially Africa in diaspora? Well, it was not what I expected at all. I thought that we would just walk into some caves and walk around and it would be easy. Okay. And then we leave, hike back and go home. But this turned out to be the most, like the, the most dangerous, okay. my most dangerous experience ever. Okay. But um, at times you don't feel necessarily scared, you just feel the need to keep going. Okay. Because there's nowhere else, you can't go backwards. Okay. And all you know is forwards. But it's definitely one of my, probably definitely top three experience of my entire life. Okay. I never had done anything similar or like it before. So I know from here we are going to Vli, we are going to Afajato. Mm -hmm. How you see this one? Are you still have that encouraged to go to the other one? Because they told us that Afajato is more dangerous than uh, the, the, the cave inside. So are you still have that dream to go to the Afajato? Yeah, I mean, I'm already here, so might as well do everything I can. Even if it's, like, dangerous. This is dangerous. Afajato is dangerous. Okay. It's taller, it's bigger, it'll take more time and effort. Okay. But I think it'll definitely be worth it. Okay. So that's Kojo coming from all over the way. United States of America. New York, right? Yeah. No, Virginia. New Virginia, York. yes. Uh -huh. that, that's why he's coming from. First time in Ghana. Uh -huh. Say, no, mommy, I want to see the, the cave. I want to see Afajato. I want to see Monkey Sanctuary. I want to see... Bab so from the cave, we are going to the other places and bring you what exactly happened there not what they write in the book for you to read. Because because you came here today, I'm sure he has an experience that I, I'm sure they, 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 they didn't write it in the book, but he have experienced that one. So you to come as Africa in diaspora and come experience what we are experienced today. Thank you. This is JMTVGH. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Um, come here. Come and experience what your ancestors live for you. Keep watching JM TVGH, the number one JM from Ebo Talent.
Yeah.